Good morning, guys. What a crazy morning we've had. We just get running outside with our pajamas on. Oh. All right, Bailey, get in there. Mama gets you some food. Get in. You're okay. Yeah, his tail feathers are gone. So uh, let me give you the rundown. He's so hungry. Basically, uh, Bailey went missing last night because every time I would throw food for him, he learned to fly so high and he didn't, didn't, he wasn't able to figure out how to come back down and get the food or he couldn't see the food. It was just so frustrating. And then we went to the mall and when we came home, he was gone. Dear Lord, he's so hungry. It's okay, it's okay. Gabby, go put an egg in the microwave, quick. Here. Here, you want more? He's like, I'm just so glad to be home, Mama. I missed you so much. Get it in there. Okay, let me get you some more food. Okay, so basically what happened was that he went missing last night. It was because he couldn't figure out how to get the food and he went looking for it. And we were like, oh no, we looked everywhere for him last night. Anyway, I got a call this morning that people were calling all the different agencies saying there's a baby crow or there's a crow and it's, it's aggressive, really. He, it's aggressive. We have small children. Please come and get them. And so, uh, we, and it was not far from her house. So obviously it was our crow. So I, I said to the girls, get your clothes on. We just threw pants on over top of our pajamas, put on a bra and away we ran. And we were just running down the street. And I'm, because we didn't want somebody else to get there first because it was already a bad situation. So if people didn't know him, who knows? Who knows what could have happened? Anyway, so we get to the house and the mom and the dad are standing outside and the dad's like, I'm terrified of birds. And I'm like, he's asking for food. He's literally sitting on their, their porch, all hunched over like he was being submissive, flapping his wings saying, feed me, feed me. But not everybody knows about birds. We didn't even know about birds before we got him. So obviously they were terrified. We ran up there and Gabby and I ran up to the porch. She sat there practically. We grabbed a hold of them, picked them up and they're looking at us like, you guys are crazy. You guys are a crazy bird family. And we're like, the wife even gave the husband a weird look like, and you were afraid of that little thing? Cause he was just like, oh, thank God you came for us. You came for me, thank you, thank you. He was so excited. Anyway, so we explained the situation and then we ran him home. And obviously we can't release him in town cause people are afraid and he is gonna be, yeah, so that can't happen. We are going to keep him in his cage for a couple of days because it's a busy weekend for us. Feed him, get him back to feeling good again, and then we're going to take him to a rescue where he can be released in the country under a slower, more controlled situation. You agree? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that should never have happened. Oh, it's so frustrating. I'm so glad we got him back. Gabby and Sophie were like, what's happening? because I didn't even have time to explain it to them. They, I'm just running down the street. And they're like, well, I wanna go, I wanna go. And I'm telling you, Sophie either had to keep up or be left behind and she was running like a crazy woman. Where are you, Sophie? She's like, what's going on? Wait for me. And I'm like, nope, can't wait for you. You gotta just come, right? You glad we got him back? She's trying to play Star Stable. She's like, come on, get off of here. Get away from me, I mean. Well, anyway, I'm glad that that happened because we got him back and now we know because I've been arguing with myself. Sam keeps saying to me, you just need to leave him. You just need to leave him. He's going to learn. He's going to figure it out. All along, I've been like, no, he needs to go somewhere better to be released. And now I know. Now I know that he is going. I got him a nice egg here. I'm going to give him some fresh water. Good morning, guys. A proper good morning. Anyway, now that all that commotion has settled down, I just wanted to say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> so cute. Good morning. I have the show on. <laughs> He's looking at himself in the camera. <laughs> This guy is the happiest boy and he is a man lover. He is an all boy boy and he Hello. loves his no-no. Hello. 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 No hitting. How do you spell mystic mom? He's all cuddled up to no-no. Hello. Hello. Anyway, you guys, it's about to happen. What's about to happen, so? We are almost, we are 12 subscribers away. 12 
eight. We're eight and subscribers away. And we're going to trick or treating. And we're going to trick or treating. What could be better to celebrate 10,000 subscribers than candy? You want treats? Uh, you want treats? Uh, I'm a treat. She wants all the treats. Nana wants all the treats too, because if you guys don't know by now, I'm addicted to sugar and candy and chocolate. There's not a piece of sugar that Nana doesn't love. Do you like candy? Yeah, let's get your hair done. I like all the candy. How many? Seven away. No, it's okay, Nana. I don't hair with this. You don't want me to do your hair? No? Are you afraid that I'm going to hurt you? Nana does Gabby and Sophie's hair every day and I never hurt them. Yeah, but I want it like this. Oh, okay, well, we'll see what we can do, okay? Mom. My gosh, you guys, two. We're two away. Gabby, we're two away from 10,000. Every single time we have any big party or any kind of thing where I need all of us here, something that's super important, Sam always leaves the house. He's like, I need to go get groceries or I have to go get coffee every single time. We are about to hit 10,000 subscribers and where's dad? <coughs> Grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. He found it. My favorite part about making YouTube videos, especially lately since we started growing really quickly, is interacting with you guys. It has been amazing whether it's on YouTube or on Snapchat or on Instagram. It has been... <laughs> Just like He's excited. It. Even Jacob is excited. It has been such a wild ride. I am so excited. What's it at? Nine. Nine, 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 nine. Did you take a screenshot? Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I'm home just in time. Just in time. But that's wrong. Let me check my phone. Check YouTube. Guys, I, we are in the car and we're headed to the beach for Halloween in August. Well, actually it's September. Halloween in September. It's just a special thing that we do at the trailer park that we hang out in and it's super fun. Anyway, before we get there though, I wanted to take the oppor this opportunity to share with you guys something that's been happening. Gabby let the cat out of the bag last night when we were ending yesterday's video. Basically, what's happening is that we are potentially going to be able to lease Ziggy. So uh, if you guys don't know who Ziggy is, I'm gonna put a picture right here of him. He's the horse that, that Sophie and I ride at our barn. Previously, we never thought in our wildest dreams we'd ever have the opportunity to lease him. And it's not for sure, so please, if you are a praying person, pray for us that it all works out. Basically, he's being rejected from the lessons program and his actual owner has the option to come and take him from the barn or to lease or to pay to have him board there. And our uh, trainer said to the, his owner, you know, I have a family here that would love to lease Siggy and we really, really want to lease Siggy. So that's where it stands. The owner is deciding this is all going to happen on October the 1st. By October the 1st, he's going to be kicked out of the lesson plan. So we should know hopefully before October the 1st and I have such mixed emotions like I know that this is meant to be I feel like it's meant to be it's the only horse I've ever connected with in my whole entire life and I love riding him I can't imagine riding any other horse that's how much I love him so I am praying and hoping that it works out I just feel so nervous that it's not gonna work out I just really really hope it does anyway I just wanted to give you that update and I just wanted to tell you guys to pray for us and and hope that we get Ziggy because it's really a dream can tr come true for me. At the pool, one of the benefits of being at the pool when it's not heated is that you get, you don't have many people in there. All right, look at Brooklyn's brave. She's already in. Oh, Gabby and Sophie got in. Come on, Gabby. You know you're getting older when you're not as brave in the cold water. And Jacob's over there playing well, in the puddle. The rock, but... Jacob's playing in the puddle because it's warmer. All right, just bend, dive down and get it. Jacob threw a rock in the pool. <laughs> Brooklyn, you're so brave now. There she goes. <laughs> Is that harder than cantering no stirrups? Uh, no. No. And you scream. 
You didn't even scream that hard when you were cantering with no stirrups. Well, I cantered without one stirrup. Yeah. No, no oh, I'm gonna give it to Jacob. Uh oh. Jacob, look, here's your rock you threw in the pool. Yeah, well, don't give him any rocks. Don't, don't throw it in the pool. Don't throw it in the pool. It's like, I'll, I'll act like it's a soccer ball. Don't you throw it in the pool. Is it trick or treating has commenced, and I want to show you. Here, carry this bucket. I want to show you everybody's costume really quick. All right, this is the cutest little Iron Man ever. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Turn your light on. Turn your light okay. on. Okay, here, I'll Turn give you this one. Okay, there's Iron Man. There's Gabby the Witch. And there's Sophie the Witch. Brooklyn, quick. And there's Brooklyn the Witch. All right, let's Guys, go get candy. I have to fold my toe up because it's so long. So big. All right, come on, Jacob. Get your bucket, Iron Man. Here, carry it like this and you'll get some candy. Come on. Right, let's go. I can't believe he's wearing the, co the mask. Guys, he's like keeping the mask on. He's already got candy and he's so excited. <laughs> he's like, follow. <gasps> Whoa, look what he found. Quick, run for it. <laughs> go. <laughs> he's not dumb. <laughs> That's so funny. Where's Jacob? We lost Jacob. There he is, coming up in the rear. <laughs> yes. Look. Watch. Watch. Go get candy. Show him your bucket. Wow. Look at you. You get a Kit Kat. <gasps> Say thank you. Whoa. <laughs> What you like? Smarties? Let me guess. Smarties. Come on. Did you say thank you? Say thank you. Jacob, say thank you. Jacob. There goes Brooklyn. Don't put it in your bucket. No way. It'll all melt before you get back. I should have cut the dress. It's a little long. He's like on the run now. Wow. Hello, Iron Man. He's like. You go. Say thank you. We haven't mastered that part yet. I like that part of your costume. <laughs> let's go. Say thank you. All right, let's go. He's like, I don't understand why you're giving me candy, but I'm not going to argue with you. Jacob's like, that's not enough candy. Yeah, he's excited. How are you doing, Miss Witchy? Good. He's like, I have to form a blanket. Yeah. Your bucket. This is a self-serve station here. It's got suckers and freezies. Ah! Don't eat it. Put it in your bucket. Come on. <laughs> Just went to a trailer that was giving away a gigantic chocolate bars, and they had a coconut ones, and we all love coconut ones. And Sophie took the coconut one, and Gabby said, "Lesson, life lesson, Sophie. Don't get the kind of chocolate bar that your parents like because then they'll eat it on you. No, you gotta wear it." We are gonna fly to the net. All right, fly, you guys. Fly, fly. First time they're not a horse. Uh oh. Oh, there goes flying, flying Iron Man. Jacob, come back. What's up? You all right? Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we are done trick-or-treating. Let me show you the loot. All right, so he's shown them your loot. Look how much loot you have. Look how big that is. It's so heavy. Here, hold it. Gabby, let's see your candy. That is a lot of candy. That was a lot of kids. That was a lot of, lot of fun. Jacob's having some cheesies. No. He's going to take it home. Brooklyn, what are you having? Get my keys, huh? Do you want Gabby to eat all your candy? No. No. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to have them for dance. You're going to take them to the dance? Are yeah, you going to share going them to... with? Are you going to share them with mommy and daddy? No. No. Gabby, I'm going to share them with Bentley. Oh, you're so nice to share them with your cousin. But she does not want daddy to eat any of her candy. That's what she told me, right? Right. I mean, Arby, candy up today. Yeah. 
We're headed to a dance now and she wants to eat this whole bag while we're there so nobody else will get any. Now that is a fire. Is it hot? Oh, can't even see you. Well, there we go. Jacob's got candy face. Is that fire hot? You want to sit with Grandma on the chair now? Is it hot? You want to see? I know it's hot, but we can grab it. Don't tell Mama that I gave you candy and chocolate, okay? All right. We are home from the trailer guys and it was insane. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. Daddy's just sorting her candy. That is a whole... No, it's too close to bedtime. Tomorrow. Tomorrow you can eat some of that stuff. So much candy. That is a lot of candy. Look at these. No, I'm not gonna eat any. Look at these huge freezies. Who gives popcorn for Halloween? Look at all these freezies and yogurt, chips, juice boxes. All right, you guys, we are gonna end today's video. I'm exhausted. We have hours of editing and I'm really excited for tomorrow. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support today when we hit 10,000 subscribers. It was amazing. Everywhere we went today, I was getting messages from Instagram and from YouTube about, um, yeah, about 10,000 subscribers. It was amazing. I'm so excited to see what this next year brings to us, brings for us, and um, that's it for today. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.